Alright guys, welcome to Rootstem Gaming. We've got a bit of a narrative game going on today. We've got some Slanesh Demons. This is before a lot of the new stuff came out when we recorded it. Because I know that that's coming soon. Versus some Imperial Guard. Now the narrative mission we're going to be playing is actually a Crucible of War. From the Vigilus Ablaze book. Page 132. Known as Doomsday Device. Basically the idea is that the Slanesh... The guard have been corrupted by chaos themselves, but have been corrupted by the corn god. Slanesh hate the corn god. So we've got a nice little corn temple. This is going to be the doomsday device. And then Slanesh, which is going to be set up here, basically have to destroy it. The It is a power level game, so it's going to be 90 power level versus 110. Slanesh, of course, is going to be greater. And the idea is to get five what you call structure points on this. Now, to cause a structure point, you've got to get five points, five wounds on it. Its, it's character, characteristics are, it's toughness 20 with no save. And you've got to score five wounds on it to cause a structure point. If Chris manages to basically score about four to five structure points by the end of the game, then he's won. If he doesn't, then it's a victory for the defender. So it's going to be quite clear, I think, by turn three. Who's going to be winning this one, I do believe. It is going to be an auto hit though, so anything that targets it, either shooting or combat, will automatically hit the structure. I've just got to have my guard try to defend it as much as we can. We've got some stratagems, if you've noticed, or have a look from the next page onwards, page 133. So if everyone gets the Vigilus books out, have a look. So yeah, right, let's take you to some armies. So this is actually 91 power level. For a traitorous Imperial Guard army, or Astra Militarum. Um, basically, we've got three different detachments. We've got one detachment down here, which is a Supreme Command. That's got two Commissar Lords and an Inquisitor. The Inquisitor, of course, is the one that's being evil. She's the one that's turning... It's always the Inquisition. It's always the Inquisition that rebels. We've got a Steel Legion Battalion. Two. Uh, we've got two Commanders at the top. Three squads of infantry, uh, they've got grenade launchers, plasma guns, and of course heavy, heavy bolters. A unit of heavy uh, missile launchers, so we've got a heavy squad as well. And then we've got a veteran unit with a rocket launcher and three plasma guns. Then we've got a Cadian contingent, which has a flyer. This is a, um, I've had to get that second hand. This is a, uh, yeah, a lightning strike fighter. Now it's supposed to have an auto cannon. Uh, but the lightning strikes now are the heresy ones, so it doesn't have an auto cannon, but we'll pretend that this is here. Look at that, his chin. Uh, we've got a manticore and a destroyer tank hunter. We've also got two commanders, uh, two Cadian commanders, three infantry squads. This is them three there. Uh, they've got one of them's got a plasma gun, power sword. We've got a flamer in there. We've got a grenade launcher. All got comms. And then we've got two veteran squads, which is. Uh, One's veteran squad has heavy flame and two melter guns, and the other veteran squad has grenade launcher and two plasma guns. They're basically going to be forming my back line. So that's 90. Doesn't look a lot, does it? Well, that's 90 power level. 91 power level. Right, let's stay across to some Slanesh, very well painted Slanesh demons. Sorry, forgot to mention my warlord trait. The warlord is actually going to be him there on a larger base. He's going to have the um, warlord trait. I need to look at it up. Come on, Paul. I know he's going to have the laurels of command from the heirlooms of conquest, so that's going to be uh, the thing of it. He's going to have grand strategist. So every time I spend command points on a five plus, I can get them back. With this being narrative, I can get them back regardless. It's not just one per game to per battle round. And Chris is back on the channel. I like playing Chris. He's a very fun player to play against. And we've got his beautifully painted Slanesh army. Yeah, but yeah. Same toys as last time. Same toys. I know, same toys as last time, but he's not got the new ones yet. Yet. Or, well, actually, keep an eye out on the channel because he's thinking about possibly selling these. Yes. Yeah, if he does, I might uh, might put them on the Rootstem website for him. That would be nice. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, they're already painted. Painted over different years by Rootstem themselves. Yay. <laughs> right, what we're rocking today, then, sir? Yeah, so this comes to a total of 112 power rating. Yep. Uh, I've done this under the guidance of Fran, so if I am cheating, <laughs> who blame Fran and not myself, I'm taking his word that this is legit. So we've got six units of demonettes. Um, yep. 
or coming with a stock Allurus Icon and instrument, albeit not modelled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Conveniences, so, if you have some a problem, model. <laughs> the last two are liable, I'll have them, simple as. Um, we've got two saw grinders, yep. uh, the usual gubbins, and they are using the walk cores uh, in terms of uh, the specific combat weapon. Yep. I've got my usual cadre for Demon Princes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All wings, and just for my convenience, and apparently allowed in power ratings, everyone's got Symphony of Pain, uh, yep. because I can apparently uh, use multiples in the same turn. Yeah, it's narrative game, so you can use the same psychic power multiple times with different units. And it's the only, There's no limits. And it's the only one, sorry, it's half yeah. decent for Slanesh, like, let's be uh, reasonable. Yep. Uh, I've got six fiends um, as one unit. Yep. I've got one herald down here, again with mm -hmm. Symphony of Pain. Yeah. Uh, a Symphony of Pain, if you don't know, just means if I do get it off, the, the uh, victim unit is minus one to hit in the shooting phase. To yeah, yeah. Psychic. Uh, then I've got my Keeper Secrets, the usual, the old model, which I do still like. Yep. Uh, Warlord Traits. I then, like that old model as well. Yeah, it's, it, it, it just could do with being larger. I think that's, I think that's what the new one's going to be, and it? yeah. it's going to be huge. Yeah. So. That's it. It's a nice model, but just to wish it were maybe twice the scale, maybe. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so Warlord Traits, Slurity of Slanesh, uh, so a movement of 15. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Soul Stealer, because I don't leave one without that. So Soul Stealer, if I cause a wound and it kills the model, I get one wound back automatically. Um, and I think that is me. Uh, yeah, yeah, I keep yeah. coming to 13 command points. Uh, and do please put your comments below if that's not true. <laughs> that's what Fran tells me. So I, I He's got two if battalions. He's, if he's cheating me, do, do let me know. He's not cheating you. He's got two battalions running through. Right, okay. So we're going to get set up. It is an awkward setup because Farquhar has to basically... Put his units down hidden which yeah. is a bit weird and then i have to uh then deploy and then he tells me because haha my units are here so it's basically a very hidden setup but we'll get cracking with it and then uh, we'll bring you into the uh turn when required right we've set up guard can set right up to 36 inches in so I've got a line of troops waiting to take the charge, which I know is coming. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I could have gone real far back, but I don't want him to basically get too far up without trying to slow him down. So Nesh, very fast. Is it seven? Uh, something like that, yeah. And then bad. if we're within six inch of any of your characters, they're still allowed to charge after they've yeah. advanced. Yeah. And then I think some of them with banners get plus one to advances. And Charlie. yeah, so a Slanesh army is incredibly fast. So I'm not looking forward to this. I've got to try and slow him down with a speed hump, which is going to be the three Cadian squads, because <laughs> they're Cadians. And then if I hold back the, G the Steel Legion, they should be able to give him a good rollicking. I've got my uh, Manticore down here, look. And of course, I've got my Destroyer Tank Hunter over there. Apologies for camera movement. I'm trying to keep it as slow as I can. Right. Now, there's no Seize the Initiative. There's no Slay the Warlord. It's just kill this. The, well, try and put as much damage as he can into that ruin to stop these guys from summoning core. Now, with him being, I'll be honest, which Chris can do, his characters, I believe, can try and summon. Yeah. That's correct, which Chris will probably not do because it means he's going to stand still, I think, in your movement phase. Yeah, and I have to think uh, about it. And I mean, yeah. <laughs> which, and... What he might do is waste all of his troops getting there, then on like turn three, just like go, do you know what? I'll just try and summon some more demonettes onto the board. We will see. You will, we will definitely see. He's got nothing in reserve. It's all coming on. Right, let's do your movement to psychic phase and we'll bring you straight into combat. So Chris has marched forward. This Slanesh powers allow pretty much any unit to be able to advance and still charge as long as within six inch of any of his characters. And he's got a lot of characters. So, this is a very, very big charge across my front line. And then he's got his psychic powers to do. So, go on then, sir, because yes. you haven't really got much of a shooting phase. We might as well record your psychic phase. Yeah, so basically, everything's got Symphony of Pain and yeah. or um, Smite, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Symphony yeah. of Pain is no good because I'm pretty confident I'm going to kill everything. Does it have to be your closest enemy unit? Yeah, closest visible. Ah, right, so, okay. I thought if the best you've got is an overwatch, I'm not risking the, uh, the uh, perils. <laughs> so straight into smite and I'm just going to go down the line. Alright then, that one sir, because it's narrative, you do not 
cluster one, so it's always passing a five, and that one failed. <laughs> Not a problem, keep that. Yes. Yeah, he's passed D3 mortal wounds. Have you got anything to stop me? No, mate, no. Which is, uh, it's a five, so it's going to be three of them. So I'll just put a die, I'll take figures off in a minute, because he's just going to go down the line. Yeah. So the uh, non bellacore model? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's cast. Two. Another two. So that's going to be five of them gone. Yeah. Then the dweller in the deep model in the middle there is a seven, so that passes. Yeah. And then I follow with a one. Got one, so that's one of them dead. Yeah. And the uh, last one of these is the demon prince up there, the top there. What about the herald here? Oh yeah, I forgot about him. Yeah, Thank that's you, friend. Be that one. Yeah. Fails. Ooh. <laughs> Two fails. So. And then that and guy. And this top guy up top. What have you got? Four. Uh, Do you want to come and point one of them? No, no, it's not worth it. No. Um, so that will be that. I just so, in actual fact, not bad actually. Quite survived that quite well. I, uh, yeah. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna die. So he's also cast delightful agonies on his slanesh. I've tried to make sure that there's no gaps for additional charges. And then he's got his grinders. What are these guys shooting at, sir? So, but funnily enough, Fran, we're going to shoot at the objective. Oh, right, okay, no problem. Yeah. So, so that's all of their weapons automatically, any range weapons I've got is going to automatically hit that structure. Yeah. You don't have to roll to hit. I would love to be an orc right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, ha so, in either order, in fact, I'm just going to double them up because they're all shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah anyway. sure. So this is going to be both harvester cannons. Yep. Needing sixes. Needing sixes because it's a thickness of 20. One. There's one six, so that's going to be one point of damage. And I need, uh, I need, need to get five. five. Yeah. So I'll put it down on the victory points and, bit for me. D3s, so there you go. etc. They don't come into it. No, 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 no. Just I think you've just so many wounds. Two D six. So this is both for yep. bombardments. So seven shots. Yep. Five six. So that will be my seven. Uh, strength eight. So still whatever six. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yep. Fail miserably. Failed. Right, well, we'll double check that roll for damage. Does it weigh? Right, it is damage, how much damage it actually suffers. So, uh, it, he has rolled a D3 and he got two. So, so far, there's two points of damage on that structure. Which is not five, and I need five at so the end of the He needs five round. at the end of this battle round. Mm. And, yeah, I don't even need to heal it, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, but, I'm guessing there's going to be a hell of a lot of charging here, Chris. Yeah, and I think I'll be off camera, mate. I think it will be off camera. I think majority of the action for this. We'll probably be off camera as well. Right. Okay, let's do a charge phase. Right, so this is the line of impact. And he's managed to get through as well, managed to charge a couple of the characters. And this is how it's ended. All three squads, including the two characters, have gone down. The consolidation and pilings have just moved the Slanesh army further up the field, closer to their objective. This bit is it going to not be used. I might as well take the terrain off this now. <laughs> Condense it down to a four foot square. I've got no reserve units. Yeah. Right. So he managed to recuperate a wound because he killed somebody in combat. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. Now it's going to be the Imperium's turn one. Yeah. So we've done the psychic phase. A smite happened, which killed two of those guys. And then, of course, I've got my orders I've just issued. So I'm going to issue order of take aim. First rank fire, they've managed to get first rank fire and take aim, and then I managed to issue take aim on those guys, which I've not put a dice down. They've got first rank fire, second rank fire, and they've got take aim. And then I've also spent two command points on grenade, uh, grenadiers, so all of them are going to be out to chuck grenades, and all of them are going to be out to chuck grenades. It's a narrative game, so I can do that. Yeah. And I've spent another command point with him, spent issuing another order. I rolled and got one of my command points back, so in actual fact, I'm still. Not doing too bad with them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to start first off. I'm going to go across the board. These guys are going to chuck heavy flamer and chuck all their grenades at this squad. And the two melter guns are going to go against these guys. So the two melter guns to start with, needing freeze. Rerolling the ones because they take aim. Still only one hit. Uh, toughness is four, so I need twos. It's a wound. Needing five? Yep. Oh. No, are you re rolling? Uh, nope. Nope. It's two dice, pick the highest, and one's a six. So one, so one of the guys that was wounded, it's going to be obliterated. Yep. So eight d6 for the grenades into these. That's a lot of dice. Moving freeze, re rolling ones. That's a lot of attacks. Force to wound. Oh. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven wounds on him. Yeah, take it. That's actually not too bad. That's not too bad. Eleven wounds. That's more than fifty percent of what hit. So five up. Yep. So dead, 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 dead. And dead. How many fives and sixes? We'll forget That's that. Sick. Six. So six of them go down, and then I've got a heavy flamer coming in on him as well. For two auto hits, I'll come and point that. For one auto hit, Thanks, like mate. a fart. And yeah, that does wound. And yep. it does kill. Do I get my command point back? No, I don't. So they take so seven wounds. I'm down wounds. there to three. So they take a total of seven wounds. And then I'll throw a grenade from both the commissar and the guy. So that's seven attacks. Seven. Needing threes. Needing fours. Only one. Failed. And he failed it, so another one. So they're going to be down eight. So I'm just going to leave my. Ooh, that's pretty good. Trumpeter actually. back on my board. Trump, yeah, 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 yeah. They're down eight, so there should be only two left. Yeah, that's right, so he's dead. <laughs> no, you're alright. I didn't. I realised I've got seven here. Yeah. Might try and kill them all. Right, so the next unit is these guys. They're within range of this fresh unit here. And these are the last weapons that's opening fire. Needing fours. Needing fours again. So, five wounds on that squad, sir. Uh, two wounds on that squad, sir. Army neck! <laughs> Every time I play against this army. Ugh, I hate you. Right, so these veterans are going to chuck their grenades into this squad here. The two plasmas are going to overcharge into the character. So, first off, the grenade, because I did play Grenadiers with you. Oh, that's nice. That's a good spread again. So, the grenade, 28 hits with, well, 28 potential hits with grenade, freeze to hit. It's a lot better. And then, force to wound. Oh, that's pretty good. 11 wounds then, sir. Six, five ups coming up. Uh, no. <laughs> hey, only, only three, three this time. Yeah, that, that's a bad thing. One, two, that three, four, five, six, eight, and two's already gone, so I've actually wiped that squad out. Meat shield. So, against your Slanesh Greater Demon, needing freeze, I did move, so that's one dead, <laughs> and then, <laughs> great, um, toughness is not eight, so it's going to be freeze to wound, I'm going to command point it, because I'm not going to let it go to waste, yep, that's a free to wound, so I'm going to need a four up, yep, because you've played, he's actually played um, his warp surge multiple times across different units that could potentially be shot, They've got exclamation marks next to them. Oh, and he saved up. it. And uh, take one of my plasma guns off for me, please, sir. Yeah. That'll do. Thank you. Because he you overcharged are. and he died. Yes. Wicked. Right. Next one. Right, so these guys opening up now at the character. So they're all in range for their last guns. I've already done first rank fire, second rank fire. So four shots apiece with the last guns and then one last pistol. Needing fours. This is six. So need sixes. Not one with the last weapon. Bit of a shame. Heavy bolter, one hit, no wound, and an overcharged plasma gun. Dies. Reroll. Wow. No, I'm just going to let him get murdered. My god. Yes, what a guy. So, so far, I've lost two men from my plasmas. Plasma pistol from the uh, Inquisitor. Oh, please. I'm not overcharging. And she hits. Yeah. Freeze to wound. She wounds. He did. He's got an exclamation mark, so he did increase his strength. And he's invulnerable saved, so it's a good job I didn't cast that thing on him. Oh, this is not looking good. I don't know, you made two great This ones. is right. This unit here, yeah. I believe he's actually closest to them again. Um, right, last weapons first. Uh, I get to re-roll the ones. Oh, great. That won't not crack in that at all. I'm actually left handed as well, so this is difficult. And then one wound. Oh, he fails his three plus armor. Uh, so I'm on seven wounds. Seven wounds left. I'll get you a dice in a moment, sir. Yeah. Heavy bolter. One hit. No wound and a crack grenade. Yeah. Reroll the ones. He's hit. He didn't wound. So that's it for that squad, and he's down to seven. Right. We've checked this can see his keeper. So D3 shots. Two. Oh, here we go. Needing fours, rerolling the ones for Cadian. 
A hit. Strength is nine, so it needs a three. Yeah. It's a wound, it's a minus three, and it's d6 damage. Uh, so a four up. It's a four up, and he's not allowed to re-roll this, because that's the rules of the actual strategy. That's right, but he did get the... He has got the, ignore st yeah. the psychic power to ignore wounds, but that's after. It's a two, so it fails. So it fails, so I cause five wounds. Mother. Alright, so I need five. Well, it's six is looking for you. Yep. This is a delightful agonist. It is. No, uh, one. One, so he loses four. So yeah. he's down to eight. Yep. Right, so that's that fired. I've still got this heavy weapon team, this veteran team, and this Manticore, and I've got a flying thing as well. Right, this veteran squad's now going to open up. It's got first rank fire and reroll ones to hit due to the orders. The last weapons are going there, into that squad with two casualties. The plasmas are going here on overcharge. So first off, the last weapons, 18 inch rapid fire range for Steel Legion. Yep. So four shots apiece, six guys can fire. In fact, actually, I forgot. I've got the heavy weapon team as well, because I keep forgetting they actually have a LAS gun. And the rocket launcher, by the way, is going to go into them. But we do have a LAS gun, so, right. And they're veterans, so we do need freeze to hit. I'll fire the LAS, the other LAS gun, because I completely forgot about it. So another four shots. Here all the ones. There we are. This lot. Needing fives. I have a lot of firepower coming into his demons here. Needing fours, sorry, because his toughness. So four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nine wounds on him there, Chris. And there's eight left. And there's eight left. So I need two. We've got, got three. three of them though, so six of them go down. There's a two left. And then I've got the plasmas. So while he's doing that, plasmas, one, one all in different colours, we're going to go into these guys. Three to hit, we're going the ones. No need for any re-rolls. These are strength eight now, so we're going to need twos to wound the fiends. Yep. I'm going to command point to re-roll that one. And then do I get the command point back? Yes, I do, so it didn't cost me anything. So that's going to be five with damage two profile. So five saves, mate. All right, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Looking for fives. Fives for the invulnerables. So fail, well, fail four. Fail them. So natural fact that will kill two of the creatures because it's two damage apiece and they've got four wounds each. Yes. So two of them will go down to the last weapons and then the rocket will lash out on crack. Reroll ones. Hits. Hit another wound there. On these? Yep. Doesn't save and it's D6 damage. Three. Oh, God damn you. <laughs> so... He lost two models and one of them's down to one wound remaining. Yes, so I'll give you that there. And that's free. And Chris is cold. Right, I've got my rockets to fire and I've still got my manticore to go. This is getting uh, this is getting good and it's getting interesting. So the rockets are gonna open up on this untouched unit. 3d6 worth of shots. So that's gonna be nine, eleven shots. Needing fours to hit with re-rolls. Not re-rolls on one, sorry. Bad, not bad. Needing freeze to wound them. Ooh. So that's six of those demonettes wounded. And that's four dead. No, another four dead. Getting hammered. Getting absolutely annihilated, hopefully. <laughs> it's when he does his morale and they all pop back up. I'm hoping he doesn't roll those sixes. I'm hoping he gets slight. Lowish or medium <laughs> numbers, allowing me to uh, to get my scores right. So Manticore, what are you firing at, sir? I think I'm going to go for the big beastie. In fact, right. So I thought that that might have been closer, but actually these are closer by a couple of centimeters. So the heavy bolters have lashed out into them, did nothing. And the Rocket is going to lash out into that guy over there. So 2d6 shots. That's a 6. So needing 4s. Rerolling the 1s for Cadian. Strength is 10. So it's three. So that's going to be... Go on, I'll use another command point. See if I can get... Right, so that's going to be 4. Do I get my command point back? No, so I've lost. I'm down to 6. So 4 saves. So 4 so saves. Needing 4s. Yep. Uh, oh, and he can't, he's not allowed to re-roll them due to his rules. Right, so these cause D3 damage, so I can use my new D3 dice. Ugh. Ooh. Oh, 
Four wounds. Now you can ignore these on sixes. Oh, I forgot about that. So he ignores one, suffers another three. So down to uh, five. Down to five left. Yeah. So the aircraft now is the only thing left. Two Hellstrike missiles and both of its twin LAS. Plus it's also kind of going to find a home in that keeper. <laughs> so the two LAS cannons, it normally needs threes, but it's minus one for the heavy weapon, so it needs fours. Missed with both. Auto cannon, two shots. One hits. Forced a wound. No wound. Two rockets. Come on. One of them hit. Strength is eight. It's wounded. Four up, coming out. Nope. No. No. Uh, oh, hang on. Right, so the hell strike. It's two dice. Pick the highest. <laughs> command point. Sorry. Six. There we go. Do I get my command point back? Yes, I do. So I didn't spend it. So, so six damage. So I need, so you need two, two sixes. sixes to survive. And what are you going to do if I do? Ah, uh, cry, probably, to be honest. Ah, yeah, do you want to re-roll any of them? Um, I don't. You can re-roll as many as you want. You can re-roll five if you want them. Um, am I allowed, technically? Yeah, because this, you're allowed to re-roll as many dice as you want. This is a narrative game. Well, it does mean you'll go down to one command point. But if he survives, I can kebab my way back up to Kebab your way back up to <laughs> <laughs> can't love that. Two, three, I can... four, five. He's gonna do it! He's down to one command point left! This is only turn one. <gasps> no! He goes down! Does he explode? No. That would be nice. It would be nice. He's gone down, the keeper has gone down. Big chunks of the army has disappeared under fuselages of fire. Let's take you into Chris's morale face. I forgot about charging. I'm actually charging. These guys are going in and the captain's going in there. We're going to go with the captain first because the Slanesh always counts as charging. So, only one hit with the power fist. Two's to wound. It's wounded. Uh, five up? Nope. No. So that one, unless you want to come on, last command point. No, 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 no. That one perishes. Let my lesson. There you go. And then Chris gets to pick. So it's going to be this unit here. You're going to pile in and then have everybody fight? Yeah, please do. Oh, yo, sir. So, however many attacks they have got. Two each plus an Aurus. Yep. So, I don't know how many models are in there. Uh, no, is it just two? Well, it's just two. It's a banner and there's a... Ah, so no, there's no Aurus, so it's just four attacks. Four attacks. Um, You're rolling the ones. Still within six inch of Demon Princess. Yeah, and then looking for... Uh, I don't think uh, I'm within six inch of uh, the green uh -huh. head, dude. Yes, you are. Looking for threes. Two. Uh, minus uh, other... I'm going to move. And I don't succeed, so two of them, which are illegal models, there we go, are off. And then consolidation. My guys. And then I fight. So I've got two attacks on the sergeant, which needs five, because he's got power fist. One hit. No wound. About right. And then the rest of the lads. Seven attacks need fours. Oh my god! None! None! Ah! Nice. Ah, oh, dipsticks. Right, anyway, morale. So, These have lost three. Yes, so leadership is seven. Five, six, seven, eight. So you lose a figure. No. So I'm guessing the one that's got a wound on it. <laughs> command point. Oh, he's going to use his last command point. He got a six. So he loses two. <laughs> what would what, what, what's happening? <laughs> oh, dear me. But this unit here, he's lost nine. No, no, you didn't lose any actually, did you? So you've lost eight. Banner, show me a one. Five. They're, they're going to be running, mate. Yeah, the leadership's six anyway, because they've no awards, yeah. so... Oh, well. They're, they've gone. It's if you get a... Is it a six that you uh, get here? A one. Is reality, it a one? Really, uh, oh, what? I thought it was a six. Yeah. All right. These guys, they've lost four. Show me a one. Yes. No! What happens? I've okay. never done this before, because we've never, ever had banners. And I never picked. So he's got one model back because he actually rolled a one to see how many models come back on that. That's why so, you don't pay for him. That's why you don't pay for him. Yeah, that's why it's because we were playing a narrative game and he's not paying points for him. That's why he's got the banners in. So Chris has got some. Uh, he's got some attacking to do here. It's going to be quite interesting to see what happens. Oh Christ! Uh, he's lost quite a few units, but if he stands some characters still. He can summon some models back in. Right, so we'll see what happens in turn two.
Right, so we've done some psychic powers. The reason I've got these models here is just mortal wounded himself twice, but managed to cast six. He got a smite, double six, and then destroyed six of my guys. Smite there has reduced him down to two. Smite there was denied by the site, by my actual witch, and then that knocked a wound off my tank, knocking it down to 12 Thank wounds you. remaining. It's got 13 total. Yep. He's now opening fire with these. He's rolled to see how many shots the flame bombardment's going to do. We're just all automatically hitting my objective. So including Harvester Cannon. Yep. It is 16 shots needing sixes. Yep. Come on, lucky. Uh, mm. Hang on, there's different damages on these, isn't there? Oh, yeah, that's the thing. We'll edit this out. Again. Flame bombardment. Flame bombardment. I need sixes. Oh, mother. It didn't get... <laughs> He didn't get any this time. Harvester cannon. Harvester cannon is... Oh, hang on. And then them. And then the six in total. Wow. That's three sixes. Uh, all on da damage D3. All on damage D3. Do you want to use my D3 dice? Uh, if you wish. There you go. Get some press to be Oh! Seven. seven damage. So, I'm um, probably going to have to spend command points. I'm going to be touching it, spending command points to be able to... Drag it back down if we just do this. You're gonna need so, to. six, seven. You will need so far, seven damage. That will cause a structure point by the end of a battle round unless I can reduce it by D3 wounds. Well, you need four, don't you, pal? You need to get down to four. You need to get it yeah, down to four, yeah. Right. So, so, you're going to be command pointing this to death. I probably am going to be command pointing that to death. But, so, yeah. But it depends because if I've got nobody left to touch, because it is supposed to be smaller than this. So it will be that there. So I need to touch that to reduce it by D3. I can spend a command point to plus one to the dice, but oof, I've got to be in contact with it as well at the end of the battle round. So charges. Charges. Works out. Right. So there's been some charging across the board, as you can see. A uh, couple of casualties on each. I've used a lot of command points for grenadiers. Uh, some charges down here, some charge into the objective and the Inquisitor, charge into the vehicle. This guy here decided to charge the remains of the heavy, of the veteran squad, and all three of the plasma guns overcharged, and all three of the plasma guns died. Yeah. So, and he failed to charge. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because he was like, there's a huge ball of plasma here. He just made it into the heavy weapons team, which is going to be a bit of a uh, an ache for myself. Right then, sir, and then end of his phase, I get to consolidate in if I want to. I don't know if I want to, to be honest. He could, but I'm going to need him for orders. And he's not within, in my, to me, you've got to get base to base when you're doing that, so no. Nope. Right then, sir, which unit are you going to go with first? Uh, traditionally, friend, I'm going one side of the board to the other. Are you so sure? I... I've got two command points. Oh, four left. You do this to me, don't you? I um, do. I'm going to have a swipe at that Inquisitor then. Ah, oh, yeah, bugger, that's the one I was going to go with. Because <laughs> she's yeah. got a force sword. Radio. So, two, yep. three rolling the old ones. Twos. Three rolling the ones. Yes. Strength for seven. Toughness of three. The twos. I actually don't think she's got an invulnerable save. I think she's dead. How well, much damage is that? Um, so, that is five saves at minus two damage two. And you didn't even attack the thingy that you're in contact with. Yeah, but I'm stood there now and I'll just, oh, keep, okay. I'll just keep pouring away. Is that what it is? Right, so I'm not interrupting now. Uh, he's going to have a swing into that one. Back yep. to my uh, OCD. So, twos to hit. Yeah, so I'll hit. And then strength of a seven. Toughness is eight. So I need fives. One, mother. Minus two. So I'm going to need a five. No. How much damage? Two. So it's down to 10. Which is not a problem. Uh, these guys. So, oh, hi. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bodies left. So that total 17 attacks. 8 bodies left, total 17 attacks. 2 each, and then one's in a lower risk. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, so 7, 14, 15 attacks, you mean? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 16, so, 17. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm, no. I'm, for some reason, I thought you said 7. No, it's because of this guy here. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, so threes, yeah, uh, and it will be threes and fours because there's no proximity. There's no anymore. proximities anymore. Yeah. Oh. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. That is one I've rolled, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So miss, 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 miss. And then we'll get the fours. Yeah, there's a one there. That green was a one. There we go. All right, just get the attack. 
We'll give it fours. Yeah. Any sixes on murder eyes? So two sixes for murderization. Yeah, and then just three saves minus one. Ooh, not too bad. Need a six. Save two, so I'll lose four out of that unit. So, right, so sorry, we missed a bit. All seven have hit this squad here. Close to wound. Six. Any minuses? Uh, two. So I've lost six guys. And it's two damage as well, so I can't really take that. Well, I can. Oh. This unit's going next. How many attacks here, Chris? So this will be 19. Oof. And we'll just quickly measure that. So I'm saying that'll be six inch. Yep. There you go. So Definitely six. So three is re-rolling the one. Yep. Just as well. So they are misses. They're hits. Yep. And then this as well. So you've got an extra three hits after that. Let's do that. But I will need uh, fours. fours unless I get a bit bearded. And Ooh, yeah, mask, to, the, uh, to the. Yep, he's within six. So threes. Threes. Wow. Um, Any sixes? Only the one. Only the one. But that's a lot of armor saves. <laughs> How many is that? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right. Ten armor saves needing sixes. I got three of them. Mm -hmm. So you would kill three, six, seven, eight of those. So the four that's left, not including the mask here. So threes to hit. Yep. No, uh, no re-rolls of the ones. Yep, that's right. But you do get plus one to your strength due to the mask. Yep, so threes, looking for sixes. So two, two. threes, so just two minus one. No sixes, so I do lose two. Just took two off normal. And then that green haired herald there is going to have four attacks with yeah. ravaging paws, AP minus one, better damage of two. Okay. Uh, and a roll of six is AP minus four, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you need to hit? Um, I believe twos, <laughs> so they fail. It's a two fail, yeah. And, and then strength? Uh, well, it'd be five, but still three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, oh wow, he's Ooh. done real well. He's yeah. done real well. No command points there. That that's not gone as, as well as what you expected there, has it? Actually, so, on that flank um, there. Yeah, just the last one then. That demon uh, around the corner there. All right, attacking and these then. guys. So seven attacks. Yeah. He's gonna murder all of you. Three, one, one. And then strength of seven. Two's mate to kill. Yeah, at least three of them. Yep, they're all dead because it's at least two damage. And he's actually up here. Sweet. Well, he is now. Yeah. Well, he was before, and because we couldn't put the model down. Do you want to consolidate three inch that way, or? Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. There you go. Oh no! Right, I've done my attacks back and done a few more casualties. It's going to get quite interesting. So, they've suffered two casualties, but because of leadership nine, they can't fail. So I've taken that one off. So that's leadership nine. He's running. I'm not having him stay. Just a sergeant. He's gone. So he's gone. Yes. This unit here. So leadership seven. Yep. My, oh. So that's a thirteen. That's, yep. That's well. That's ten. So yes, ten. So three. So three of these go, which is actually the squad. The squad is gone. The squad is gone. Yeah. Only yep. that lad left, and then three on them as well. So that's a nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. So two more of those go. Yeah. And mine fails because he's lost seven, so even if we roll a one, that's going to be eight. Yeah. And down here. Down here, you've lost four. So, ten. <laughs> so, this is another three. Yikes. And then I've lost four. In fact, I'm going to risk it. Four. Oh. oh, no! My leadership's seven, so I lose three as well. Which three, friend? Just, well, <laughs> I've got it, I've got it. I've got command points left, I'll re-roll that. There we go, two. <laughs> so I don't lose any. <laughs> Do I get my command point back, me? Leader's still alive. No, I don't. Right, so I don't lose any out of them. And then, oh yeah, they lost six. So, four. So they're going to lose three, which means that all three of them, so that unit's uh, going to be gone. Well. Right, I've moved, I've done some orders. Um, they've fallen back and get back in the fight so we can still shoot. These guys have got, um, can still fire. They've not broken off, I've left them in, and I've not broken that off either, I've left it in combat. I've got to try and kill some demon princes, because he's going to be able to apply more attacks to this. But it's, it's getting him, it's getting someone that's going to be able to target him. So I might just have to give it up as a bad job, and just let you wail on that. 
just sort of dry hump it a little dry bit. Dry hump it a little bit because I can't really, although I'm saying that, I can't target that one because this guy, I can target him because he's the closest character, but then there's that guy. So if I did do an, so if I get rid of him, I might be able to target him because it's only characters that are closer. So I could target him because he's a character. And I'll just ask. Chris has just pointed something out, but that actually counts as a model. I've read the rules and it does count as a model. So because it's a model for me, I can't target him because he's in combat. Yeah, interesting. And there's no rules to say it's some form of building or structure. So I can't shoot him. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's really bad. Yeah, but he's still going to struggle to glance it. He is, he is. I need to try and uh, murderize some more fort. Right, let's get some shooting done. We've just blitzed through because, of course, it's getting to the point where we've got no models. Um, killed that. Killed that. The mask is down to two. That's now down to four, but I've run out of rockets on that guy. These have lost two. He's in combat with that, so I'm going to have to charge him. And yeah, basically we're just getting now into the combat phase. No, <laughs> we're getting no into the combat phase. I have used nearly all of my, um, I've only got one command point left now. Yeah. Right, so let's do some charging. Definitely worth it. Oh yeah. Right, okay, so I've done a charge over here. He's charged there. We've already done his attacks against this because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna charge him. So he's done more damage, he's done eleven points of damage to it this round, meaning he's gonna get a structure point. So these attacking, maybe force. Oh, I've only hit once. I've wounded though. What's the uh, damage on this? It's D3. Oh, I oh, saved it. Saved it. Right, you get to pick a unit then, sir, because you count all count as charging. Yep. Apart from this one here. Yep. <laughs> So I will go with... Um, You're going to go with this unit here. These, right this unit. there. Right, okay. So consolidate, so consolidate. Me, uh, total five attacks. Yep. Uh, am I within six inches of either of these two dudes? Uh, possibly not that guy, but definitely am of this guy. You are, yes, on both. So re-rolling the ones. So yep. even threes. That's all good. And then I want three. Three to one. Three roll in the one. So one six. Right, it doesn't matter about the six because I've got an invulnerable save with being a captain. So two wounds. Captain's down to two. Still got two wounds left. Fights back with his sword because I've got to. He charged. Three hits. He gets three wounds. Oh, what a guy. What a guy. Oh, oh man, there's another two of them. I need a one. You yeah. get. <laughs> He's just basically just gone. Ha ha! Bring it! Yeah. Bring it, you demons! He's starting to cut the, the corn. The corn icon is starting to curse through his veins. He doesn't know what it is. He has no idea what it is. The Inquisitor never told him. And now she's dead. <laughs> right, these so, guys fighting first. Yeah, so five unmodified yep. attacks total. Uh, so four hits. And then even mm -hmm. four ups, yeah. So two miss and just two minus ones. Both went through, uh, so I lose two guys. Cut the sloggers. Yeah, yeah, just normal buddies. And then, you got and then three I've got two attacks. In fact, I'll just do them all together because you've got five up in front of us there. Yeah. So. Three hits. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, the power of corn compels you! Yeah, well, same with Another two! So, again, <laughs> a, another guy left, and he needs... And then, um, consolidate. He, he needs a one as consolidate. well. Consolidate, consolidate. <laughs> There we go. There we are. Now you can see. Right, and then the mask gets to fight back. Four dice needing twos. It doesn't reroll the one because he's not within six of the captain. Strength, strength five and he's freeze. Yeah. Um, right. One. one. Not doing well. How much damage does it do? Uh, it would be a damage of two if successful. It's minus nope. one. Nope. Fails. Cool. Interesting. <laughs> cool, 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 um, cool. We've got the tank. Oh uh, yeah, need to do a tank. You get counters charging against that as well. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Freeze. Uh, two, sorry, we two are all in ones. Uh, and you need fives to wound. Yeah, it's gonna. Oh wow, three of them. Minus of two needs fives to save. Doesn't save any. Takes six. Nice. I'll take it. Down to four. So that means it gets D three attacks back. Three attacks. <laughs> One hit. Strength is summit. It's more than six. So yep, wounded. And nope. it's fine. It's fine. 
just as well. His armor saves him for a crushing tread. Oh yeah, I forgot in the shooting phase, he's down four. Can't remember if I said that. If I did, oh well. Right, morale then. Again, another bad morale for you here, sir. This guy here. He's a one. And he's dead. Four, four is eight. That's going to be, yep, he's running. And this guy, because I'm technically yep. leadership six, he's dead. No, no. Oh, no. Leadership, you only Five. lost two. Yeah, the banner. So actually, over. that stays still. He disappears back into the walk. And that would be that. So we're down two. Um, We've also managed, actually, Chris did point out, because I can't shoot him, he actually can't shoot the uh, the thing either, because it's a character that's in combat with another one of his squads. So you'd have to break out to be able to shoot at it. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to be able to knock, even if I knock D3 wounds off. Yeah, where's my D3? There we go. One. So that makes it down to ten. That means that Chris scores a structure point. If I just, yeah, I'll put a dice over that side. So Chris has scored one. Now the game, you do need to have, but he's got to have that at least four. So we're going to go into turn three, with barely any units left on the table. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from grinders running up and down. Barely any units left on the table. And we're going to try and score some more in this turn. So movement wise, he's moved up. He can't summon. We just had a look to see whether or not it could bring units onto because these two, even though they're in combat, they have stayed still. We checked, you can summon, but we've just checked him because there's units all around him, he physically can't get anything down. <laughs> it's quite amusing. Yeah. So, right then, sir. Soul grinder's away. Soul grinder, yep. With this guy. Yep. Harvester cannon. He's going to try and target. That's not there, that is actually there. Yeah, so his ballistic skill 5 on his, uh, his crummiest of yep. profile. So, needing 5s. Needing 6s, because it's minus 1 to hit. It's hard to hit that vehicle. Thank you, so 0. zero. And then fun bombardment for 1. Lucky 6. Nope. No. So that guy. Is he going to rinse repeat? He's not. He's going to try and peg them Cadians, because I just like the idea of killing Cadians. Okay. For those reasons. So, 5s uh, because he moved. Do yeah. it anyway. No, it's five minus one for moving. So it'd be a, a he's, six. He's not suffered any wounds. Yeah, but he moved. So it'd be five to hit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all that, all that talking. Yeah. Didn't matter. Five shots with the flame bombardment cannon. It is heavy. Oh my god! Nice. What strength is this? Eight. Oh, what's the minus? Uh, I think three. That's gonna hurt. That is gonna hurt. Minus two, so Minus two, even minus two is going to hurt. Four of them gone down. That's not good. We've gone back and done psychic phase because we forgot. Basically, these two paggered the actual main building with uh, smites, knocking it up to five damage this turn, and he knocked that down to one damage left. Nice. Right then, sir. We've done shooting, which did quite a lot, actually. Did four casualties on those guys. Yep. And now, it's charges. Can you uh, interrupt me at all? So, I've only got one command point left, so I can't interrupt you, sir. So, no. at the moment, there's no charges for me. No charges, not even him. He's not going in. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah? Yeah, that guy. He'll that charge demon him. prince will go in, yeah. And he's there. Four. So, he's definitely in, into the main structure of the building. Yes. Yeah, and it's going to be very difficult to shift these demon princes now. Right, um, you pick a unit first, then, sir, and you pick another unit first, because you all count as charging. This guy. Yep. This guy. Hits. Hits everything. Needs fives and sixes. Ooh, only two. Two. Fives and sixes to save. I've saved them both! <laughs> <laughs> no. I've, done a, I've done a Chris. This guy. All right, then. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. This guy. Roll hit. Well, you don't have to roll to hit, mate. Oh, yeah, so... That were two, two sixes before you picked them up. So yeah. two sixes, that would be four damage. So another four damage on the building. And the other guy. And the other guy. Two. There'll be another two sixes, so that's another four damage. And then the um, the herald. Four. Yep, the herald. Needing twos. Sure, it's two. Oh, best check. You need Colin at two. I think that's going to be another structure point. Yeah, it's two. Definitely two. Yeah. And then two plus of five, so threes. That one six, and then if it's relevant. Uh, well, it's all five up in vulnerables, but it causes two damage. So I do need two saves on this captain. Do our last command point? Go on. One. Nope. 
tenderized, so that's in there. And then he can consolidate into these if he wants to. Uh, is that a, a suicide charge? Probably. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> and then I get to fight back. Yeah, so. so, the only thing left to do with this turn is this morale. Four plus four is eight, and they're on nine because of the Commissar. Right, they're okay, they're good. So they've managed to attack back, killed that guy. They've done another wound on him. And it's getting rid of ease. That's the trick. In that is the trick, and they're in combat against that building. It's distracting them to the point where they don't... Oh, it's a very, very... Um, once well, you get in there, it's harsh, especially if you get something big in there, yeah. to try and stop you. Be good to see if anybody reads the rules differently to that. Yeah, because it does say it does say it's a model, so a model on my side, which would mean that of course that if he's in combat, we can't shoot him. Yes. That's going to be harsh. I've still got missiles left on this guy. Right, so my turn three. Right, so in my orders phase, I've ordered them and they've fought against him again and then managed to murder him, which is always a good thing. But soul grinders are coming in. These guys over there. I'm going to try and overcharge plasma this soul grinder. Yeah, this would be sweet. Go on, good lads. Two hits. Good lads. Change some dice. Uh, seven. Two wounds. Ooh. Minus a three, two damage apiece. Oh, you mother. <laughs> Roll my dice. And we. Oh, I saved one. Grenade. Missed. So, so he's lost two wounds. He's down to two. <laughs> Right, two melter guns here are uh, within 12 inch of this one, so firing that. Both hit. Mm. One has wounded. Have I it. have a command point left. Go on! Yep, and do I get it back? Yes, I do! <laughs> so I still got a command point left. Two wounds on him, minus four. D6 damage apiece. Right, she's got 14. He's good. Got, yeah, good. yeah, he's good. Well, I hope we're good. Oh. Command point. <laughs> Sorry, I'll roll that properly. Seven. So seven, and do I get my command point back? No, so I've lost all my command points, and he's dropped seven wounds seven. on that soul grinder. Oh, man. Getting getting good here. Getting good. Falling back over there. So this rocket is now going to 2d6 it into the nearest soul grinder, and then it will fire its heavy bolter into that one there. Third rocket of the game. Eight shots. Forced to hit, re-rolling ones. It's all right having all these shots, but I only hit three times there. Three wounds. Minus of two and D3 damage, sir. So two. two's gone through. Two D3 damage. And that's another four. So four, so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven wounds gone this turn. Yeah. From that soul grinder. I'm guessing he's going to be quite severely gimped. Yes, sir. And then this guy over here, auto cannon, into that soul grinder. <laughs> the one with two wounds left. Yeah. And then the twin Lars, which is the only weapons he's got left, are going to fire into this demon here. Twin Lars, wow. one hit, one wound, minus a three, saved. saved. Auto cannon, no hits. Yeah, you would say sweet on this one. Right, charge time. Right, in an attempt to try and stop the floor. He's not there, he's there, but he won't stand up. Attempt to try and stop the floor. All this lot is charged into this character. He's charged the other one at the opposite side. Right, so I'm going to go with the squad first before he gets to attack. So two attacks with the sergeant, one hit. Strength is six, your toughness is six, isn't it? Uh, it's, uh, yeah. Force, it's wounded. And it's saved. Saved. And then another attack from an infantryman. Doesn't, that didn't actually hit, so I don't know what I'm doing there. And then he's <laughs> piling. Sweet. So you get a choice of picking a unit. So, this guy. So he's going to attack. That guy. Okay. Let's try and swat him away. Two's re-rolling ones. It's going to be quite easy for you to swat him away, I think, to be honest with you. I ought to have thought about this and split my attacks, but that's my own stupidity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow, that's what, how many there? Uh, six. Six, five up in runs needed. Yeah. Nope, oh, that's more than away from that. That's just him murderized. So he's gone. Nice. When I get a chance to fight again, 
So the captain from this side, he's fighting. Two hits. One wound. Saved. Go on, fight with him. Um, and I'll have a go at your captain. In You're going to have a go at the war master or the commissar or the squad? I'm going to split two ways. All oh, right, okay. Three dice at the captain yeah. and four at the commie. Okay. Captain. captain, all hit. Commissar, yeah. all hit. Captain, two, two wounds. Yeah. I need to pass them both. My war master dies. And the commie, three. My commissar dies. It's pretty impossible to try and actually knock these guys down with guard. Yeah, you, you want to be a, a proper combat army, I think, mate. Yeah, I think I do. Right. So in that phase, I managed to knock them two down to virtually nothing, but I can't get them. I can't get these guys off. Have those foot sluggers attacked me? Yes, the foot sluggers have already attacked the attack first because I thought you might put some attacks on them and wipe them all out, you see. Um, now he's scored 12, 13 wounds against that this turn. I can't stop him, so that's going to be another structure point on that building. Now, <laughs> if we're going to be going to turn four. He can score another structure point at the end of turn four, I think, quite easy. Yeah. And then at the end of turn five, he'll score another structure point, which will take it up to four. Because all I'm doing at the moment is dashing men against these two guys here. Yeah. Well, we'll play the turn anyway, just to see what happens. Yeah. And um, As we do. And then take it from there. Right, so your turn four, sir. Right, so he's done some movement. He moved up. Uh, he's gone into his psychic phase because he still can't summon anything. He's got no room. Um, they've smited the main structure, done three points of damage. And he has smited the vehicle and destroyed it. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shooting phase. As you said, we're going to go this unit first. Yes, sir. This guy against these needs sixes. He needs sixes, sixes to hit. Yeah. Oh, Harvester cannon, zero hits. Flame bombardment for two hits, needing sixes. Oh, one. Two uh, to wound, it. Yeah. <laughs> and then that guy same Rinse order. repeat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one hit on Alistair Cannon, one wound. So minus. Um, I believe it is a one. Gone down. Yep. And then the fan bombardment for two. Uh, nothing. Nothing. So combat. So combat. Got no characters left. So we're going in for free. charging, yeah, free charging, charging, and he's charging the flyer. Yes, so we'll do that first. Well, you want to do that first, do you? Yeah, I want to watch this. Right, out well, the sky. let's do some Overwatch. So a charge been successful here, no wounds. Charge successful there. My plasma gun killed himself. Uh, that's the following thing. It's, it's, that's all that seems to happen. Plasma guns and a charge here. They're already in combat. I don't think I'm going to win this one now. Nope. Right then, sir. Uh, who's going first? That guy. This one? So a D3 yep. with a walk close, a D3 times two for two attacks. Two attacks. He will need fours, and he fluffs both. Oh, so yes, that should do any damage. This fours guy, lad. same yep. again, two, so that'll be four. Yep. Needing fours, so two hits, oh, and dear. strength plenty, oh, AP one. minus plenty. So he kills one. Yeah, minus two, yeah. <laughs> Zombie consolidation in. Yep. Uh, and then these guys. Yeah, so we'll have a swing at the old uh, building there with this guy first. Yep, so automatic hit. So we're wanting the sixes. Sixes uh, where to do you damage. Want Just wherever, mate. I'm, I'm following your hands. <sighs> two. One. So that'll be two damage. Yep, so that takes that to five. So that's only just. But you can repair it if I don't. No. Nope. Next guy, what's he doing? He's going to have to kill them. Try and He's going to have to repair. kill them. Yeah. Well, so he's going to put all of them against. Because these guys are not dead. So all they need to do is fall back in my turn and touch it. Yeah, we'll have a swing at the building, friend, thank you. You're just going to do all against the building? Yep. Ready up. So straight up, all it. So yep. One, sixes. Zilch. None. Oh, this has just suddenly got interesting. Yes. Um. Because um, you can do Me anything, fighting right? back. Oh, hang so, on. Hang on. I'm going to oh, have a... Oh, yes, yes. Go on then, sir. Hang on. Right, go on. More, definitely a moment in the sun. Yes, you are correct. Two. Two's to hit. Reroll that. Yes. There we go. Strength of uh, seven, I think. Um, toughness. I have no idea. 
Mm. Right, so it's toughness seven, is that? Need it's hit with them all, he needs fives. Oh no, strength seven. So yeah, you need so pause. pause. Oh, oh, that's a lot. I can't kill it, but it is AP minus two. And is that many? Six? Six. AP minus two. I need fives and sixes to save. Ah. <laughs> that's four of them. I suffer four damage, sir. Yes, and you complain least... about murder. I know, <laughs> Jesus. Four damage. Four damage, that takes him down to ten. So there he goes, D10 for me. Thank you very much. Yeah. And he's got fly keywords, so he'll just move away from you and shoot some stuff. Yeah. Right, so fighting back. Right, so we've gone to my turn four now. This has gone down. I did some attacks back and did nothing, as you probably um, imagined. They've fallen back. He's fallen back, allowing me to shoot the grinders. It's these I need to shoot. So if anyone's got any opinions, because mm. I think next time we play a scenario like this, I think it will just have to count as an immobile building. Yes. Um, rather than a model, because that's what it says in the rules. It says it's a model. But to me, it should count as an immobile structure. Yes. Or whatever. I suppose it's supposed to be some form of bomb, maybe. I'm not sure. Right, let's get some shooting done. This is going to fire twin Lars, because I can't do what else. Twin Lars and auto cannon into this one. Uh, like, same as before, Mechanicus is the last cannon dice. Yeah. Oh no! The last cannons fail, but the auto cannon wounds minus one. You need a four. No. And it reduces it to one wound. I'll take that. Oh, disaster. Heavy bolter from there into this guy with one wound left. It's a Cadian unit. Oh, it's all hit. I needed that to wound, no. I needed that to wound. Swap some dice. Swap some dice. Oh, dear. Two with a minus of one. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> and of course, the rockets were going to go into the other one. So Oops. seven shots. I've got six in my hand here. I'll just reroll one of them. Freeze. Oh my god! Minus of two. Dead. Yeah, he's dead. Does it explode? No. No. Nope. So I managed to get rid of one, and he's down to one wound left. So hopefully it's very, very risky for him to charge. <laughs> I doubt. I doubt that's going to be risky for him to charge. Oh. Right, so we're going through the assault phase, and you count as charging, sir. So yes. what are you doing with this one in combat with stuff? Uh, I think I'm going to have a swing at the building, Fran. Oh, he's going to build in again. I need to get beyond five. Go on then, sir. So I need sixes. Yep. And I get two. So you increase that by another four. So I so feel comfortable. And then the other guy that's not in combat with the squad. Yeah, so we should have. I should have thought about the order we've done that in, but hey ho, you live and learn, you get carried away. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, another another six, so in actual fact that will take that to twelve. So I can't again. I can't stop that this turn. Do I hurt this monstrosity in front of me? The Mechanicus dice is for the power fist. I uh, miss. Uh, no, nothing against him. So at the end of this battle round, that resets to zero. That goes up to three. I really, really can't stop you. Nope. I really, really, I'll be honest with you, can't stop you from if, destroying this. If we're reading the rules as we think yeah, they are read. If reading the rules as, as we think they are read. So in actual fact, I'm happy to call it there, Chris, because I can't stop you, sir. Yeah, and, uh, I've yeah. tried, but I can't stop you. Yeah, but it's interesting, though. I think we need an opinion on that. We do, we do. Make a comment below. Yeah, no. And that's it. Yeah. Did you enjoy that, sir? Yeah, good game. Yeah, good yeah, game. yeah. Good game. I enjoyed that. I like that narrative game. It was... Uh, Quite interesting to uh, to see that having yeah. a, an over, a slightly overwhelming force versus a, a, a smaller one. We will get some clarification on that rule because to me, if we played that again, it'd be in a mobile structure. Yeah, I, I think we'd house rule it as in a mobile structure and just have people have, you know have the ability to shoot the guys that are on it and, and have the guys that are on it be able to charge off it if need be as well. And I think in a match play scenario, I think you've probably suffered 500 points here, so I think you're probably winning the game if this were match play. If it were match play, I don't know, maybe it's. 20 points, 20 power level difference. So I don't actually know what that equates to. Because mm. I've never really played power level that much. But that was quite interesting, you having all the banners and everything else. Yeah, yeah. I quite like that. Points, and uh, yeah. for me, not actually having to look through, going, oh, how much is a heavy bolter? How much is a rocket yeah. launcher? I've just been able to go, well, hey, chuck that in. <laughs> so that's made a really, really fun game. 
I'm probably going to do some more narrative games on the channel, to be honest, because I really, really did enjoy that. And it's a bit different from playing the match play games that people tend to play. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button. If you like what you see and you want to see more, try and get about report out every Thursday. And I try and get a painting video out every Saturday. Right. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.